Hi, this is Marlon Balbastro from Wizbyte Creatives. And today I'm going to show you how to create a dripping and spatter effect in Photoshop. Alright, so let's get started. Wizbyte Creatives The first step is to create a new document by pressing Ctrl or Command plus N. You can also go to File and New. To ensure that your results will look like mine, make the width 1920 pixels and height 1080 pixels and its resolution 75 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. The background color is white. Click the lock icon to unlock the background and double click it to open its layer style window. Click Gradient Overlay and the Gradient Bar. Click the black-white thumbnail in the lower left stop. Click the color box and pick a soft color that works with your subject. You can always change it later if you want. The blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Check reverse, and make the style, radial. And the scale is 150%. Open the photo. We'll place it onto the background we just created. If your move tool isn't active, press V on your keyboard. Drag the photo onto the background. To reposition it, just drag it. Once you're happy with its size and position, press enter or return. Next, we'll separate the subject from its background by making a selection around the subject. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, I'll use the quick selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, makes its radius anywhere between 5 and 10 pixels. Drag the tool over the inside of your subject you selected. To remove areas of the selection, Press and hold out or option as you drag over those areas. To refine the selection's edges, click Refine Edge. Check Smart Radius. This detects smooth and hard edges. Drag the radius a little bit to the right. To adjust the size of your brush, make sure the caps lock key is off, and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Drag the brush over all soft edges like hair. Check Decontaminate Colors, which prevents color fringing along the edges. Drag the amount all the way to the right. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask. Open the dripping photo. Drag the it onto the background.
control click or command click the dripping photo to make a selection. Make the original subject photo active and press delete on your keyboard. Click eyeball to hide the dripping pattern. Then, D selected by pressing control or command plus D. Click the new layer icon to make a new layer. Drag it below your subject. Set foreground color red. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Pick a Splat 7 or number 504 brush. Download the Splatter Brushes link in the description below. Make the subject layer active and open layer style window. Click drop shadow. The blend mode is linear burn, the color is black and the opacity is 100%. The angle is 90 degrees, check the use global light. The distance is 5 pixels, the spread is 0%, and the size is 0 pixels. The contour is linear. This is Marlon Balbastro from WizBite Creatives. Thanks for watching.